Hello and welcome to Queen's English. I'm your host, Squire Amir. Now, today we're going to have a look at the various kinds of houses that people live in. Now, before we start, I want to ask you, what kind of a house do you live in? Do you live in an apartment, a flat, a hut, a wood house, a lighthouse? Don't worry, if you never got all of these, we'll have a look at them one by one. Okay, so the first type of house that we're going to have a look at is called a terraced house. Now, what's a terraced house? A terraced house is a house in a long row of houses and each house is attached to the other house and they're called terraced houses. Then we have a semi-detached house. A semi-detached house is a house where you have a row of houses and then you have a gap and the houses carry on. So this house here and this house that have a gap are semi-detached houses, semi-detached. Then we have a detached house. What's a detached house? A detached house is a house that's on its own. There's no house to the left or to the right, it's just one house. Then we have a lighthouse. A lighthouse is a house built on a rock or on the coast next to the sea. So you can see the lighthouse from far away. A lighthouse is there with a light on top of it that can enable ships to know that they're close to the coast because sometimes you get rocks on the coast. Then we have a hut. A hut is a simple house most probably in a forest made of wood and you even have huts made from mud you plaster the mud onto the walls of the hut and the roof of the hut will be of thatch this is what thatch looks like a tent a tent what's a tent a tent is a house that's made of canvas, it's made of fabric and it's what you make when you're camping, when you go out into the forest or a camping area. A cottage, cottage, what's a cottage? A cottage is a house in a village. Now in Europe, cottages are very beautiful. Here's some examples of home cottages here. They are normally, they, some of them can have thatched roofs and they have quaint beautiful small windows and doors. Quite romantic. A villa. What's a villa? A villa is a large house with many rooms, sometimes many floors. It's the same as a mansion. I live in a mansion. Do you live in a villa? A mansion, again, is a very large house with many rooms and many floors. A palace. A palace. What's a palace? A palace is where if you're very rich, you live. Or if you're royalty, if you're part of the royal family. Palaces can have upwards of 20, 30, 40, 50, up to 100 rooms. Palaces are very beautiful, decorated very nicely with all sorts of chandeliers and gilded things and they normally come with their own land. A castle. What's a castle? A castle is where a king or a nobleman or a ruler, where he normally lives. Today, not many people live in castles anymore, but they did in the past. 
and a castle was surrounded by a wall and inside there were many buildings and a fort what's a fort the difference between a castle and a fort is that a fort is it houses your military as well so if you're going if you're defending a particular area you'll build a fort and then your forces can be safe in there as well and if anybody comes to attack your land you can send your forces out to fight them a hotel what's a hotel a hotel is a building that you pay money to rent a room for you to stay the night so if i visited another country i would stay in a hotel a farmhouse what's a farmhouse a farmhouse is a house that a farmer has a log cabin a log cabin is a house made of logs as you can see here a barn what's a barn a barn is a building that's used to house animals so a farmer will have a barn and at night he puts his animals in there to keep them safe dormitory what's a dormitory a dormitory is where students live or if you're a nurse you can live in a dormitory it's where they house you so if you go to a college or a university and they have housing they can house you in dormitories a nursing home a nursing home is where the elderly live old people they sometimes go to live in nursing homes where they're cared for a skyscraper skyscraper skyscrapers are very tall buildings they have many floors some of them have upwards of a hundred floors an igloo is where eskimos live eskimos live where it's very cold the temperatures are very cold and there's not much building material so they have to build houses from the snow they make them into blocks and they put the blocks into the shape of a house here is an igloo a caravan a caravan is a mobile home you can attach a caravan to the back of your car and drive it anywhere you want people who go camping some of them have caravans and they park the caravan up at the edge of the forest and they sleep at night and they cook all in the caravan a yurt a yurt is like a tent it's used by the mongolian people and yurts are made of felt and they're very beautiful and they're circular in design so now i ask you again from this list what kind of a house do you live in send me below in the comments what kind of a house you live in and i'll correct the first 10 sentences now if you like this video don't forget to like subscribe and share and tell me in the comments what other videos you would like me to make and i'd make them for you thank you for attending today's lesson bye now